When you hear that Islam is the religion of submission to God, you have to be careful. Because you may hear it and think that Islam is the religion of submission to what you think of as God, and Allah just isn't anything like what most people think of as God. If you believe that God is an all-powerful, all-knowing, omnipresent, infinite, perfectly good being, that just isn't the God of Islam. If you read Islam's most trusted sources, Allah sounds more like the genie from Aladdin, he shows up to grant Muhammad's wishes, usually sexual wishes, or he sounds like Loki, the Norse god of trickery and mischief, or he sounds like Satan. He doesn't sound like God. To see what I mean, think about one of Dr. Bart Ehrman's criticisms of the Islamic view of Jesus. According to Dr. Ehrman, if we know anything about Jesus, we know that he was crucified. I think historically, uh, I think Jesus certainly got crucified. I think this is a historical certainty. I think on a historical basis, Jesus was absolutely crucified. I, I think that there is, uh, as a historian, there's, there's almost no doubt about that. But according to Islam, Jesus wasn't crucified. Muslims do not believe, the Quran says, that Jesus didn't really get crucified. He didn't really die. Uh, that it was somebody else who got crucified in his place. And, um, and so that's, yeah, well, that would be something that... So Dr. Ehrman is convinced that Jesus' crucifixion is a historical certainty, but Muslims claim that it never happened. This means that Dr. Ehrman is wrong, according to Islam, doesn't it? Now, here's the question for Muslims, and at the end of this video, I'll expand it to four questions for Muslims. Why is Bart Ehrman so incredibly wrong about something he regards as a historical certainty? Now, I happen to know from long experience that this is when a bunch of Muslims will jump in and say, but you think he's wrong about stuff too, David. You think he's wrong too. Not the point, not the point at all. Everyone disagrees with everyone else about something. Ehrman is an atheist. Obviously, Christians and Muslims are going to disagree with him on all kinds of things. But that's not what I'm talking about here. When someone is wrong about something, especially something important, it makes sense to ask why he's wrong. How did he come to a false conclusion? And according to Islam, there's a very clear, very specific reason that Bart Ehrman is thoroughly convinced that Jesus died by crucifixion. What is that reason? According to Islam, why is Bart Ehrman convinced that Jesus died by crucifixion? Well, according to Islam, Jesus wasn't crucified. Instead, Allah took him safely away to paradise. But Allah didn't stop there, no. Allah took a different person and miraculously disguised him to make him look like Jesus. Then this other person was crucified, but everyone thought that it was Jesus. The Christians, the Jews, and the Romans all believed that Jesus was crucified because Allah tricked them into believing that Jesus was crucified. So we ended up with lots of early sources reporting the crucifixion of Jesus. I think the crucifixion of Jesus is one of the, is probably the best attested one of the best attested events of his life. Um, it is, um, it's found all over the place in our early sources. It's even mentioned by non-Christian sources. So, according to Islam, why is Bart Ehrman thoroughly convinced that Jesus died by crucifixion? It's not because he's an atheist, or biased, or ignorant of the facts. Bart Ehrman believes that Jesus' crucifixion is a historical certainty because Allah deceived him. And Allah didn't just deceive Bart Ehrman, he deceived literally billions of people along with every respected historical Jesus scholar and New Testament scholar on the planet because they're all convinced that Jesus died by crucifixion. Allah deceived billions of people, which means that, according to Islam, Allah is the best of all deceivers. You see why I said that Allah sounds more like Loki or Satan than what most people think of when they think about God? Let me conclude with a few questions for our Muslim friends, and I'm genuinely interested in any answers you Muslims may have, because I've been in lots of discussions and debates, and no one has ever been able to explain this to me. So please share your responses in the comments. First question, 
Why did Allah deceive Bart Ehrman and literally billions of other people? Why did he do it? What was the purpose? Jesus was taken safely to paradise. Allah could have left it at that. Or he could have told everyone that Jesus was taken safely to paradise. Instead, he tricked people into believing that Jesus died by crucifixion. Why? Why deceive so many people? Second, why do Muslims blame the Apostle Paul or other Christians for corrupting the gospel when, according to Islam, Allah corrupted the gospel? I open the Bible, and it says that Jesus died on the cross. Jesus' crucifixion is a lie, according to Islam. Who came up with that lie? Allah did. So Allah corrupted the gospel. Why would he send Jesus with the gospel and then corrupt it? Third, if Allah deceived literally billions of people, and there was no real reason to deceive them and to corrupt the gospel, did Allah deceive billions of people and corrupt the gospel for fun? Does Allah simply like deceiving people for no reason? Fourth, if Allah deceived billions of people simply because it amuses him, if he corrupts the message of his own prophets just for fun, if your God is a cosmic trickster, how do you know he isn't deceiving you? you, don't know that. you don't know that.